David, and I am on the Compassion Tour, and I think for this entry I will discuss silence, stillness, and emptiness. I believe all things manifest from the unmanifested, which has been called emptiness by some spiritual slash religious beliefs. I believe that from the emptiness there is form that comes forth through recognizing it at first as either a thought or a tangible gross form and that the way to retrieve back into that emptiness, if one chooses to do so, is first through silence. And by silence, I mean silencing the mind, which is thought, concepts put together in order to form some structure of some sort, whether it be a belief or a personality or the perception of a form. And after silence, there is stillness in which the mind actually is recognized for what it is, which is a collection of thoughts, whether they actually be linear or not. Some refer to it as the monkey mind in which it's simply thoughts that are passing by. What am I going to do later? Or look at that ant crawling on the ground. Or this food tastes good. There are thoughts about what is being perceived through the eyes, ears, touch, taste, and smell. And once the mind is still, there's the emptiness, the consciousness, the awareness that recognizes that there is such a thing as the mind and that it is relatively a small part of who we are. Though as this is written and spoken via Eckhart Tolle, Ramana Maharshi, Richard Rohr, many other people, and I myself, your experience would say the same, that you recognize the mind as being a very small part of the infinite expanse of reality, of all the other things that exist. And within the realm of that larger space, there is simply being that you are, I am we are being the beingness of it all we are part of a larger consciousness slash awareness that is of being without thought and that's what stillness the experience of stillness is when the mind is still in Hinduism and I believe in Buddhism it's called one pointedness you stick your attention on one thing, whether it be a flame or a thought. Same thing. You're thinking of the flame or you're thinking of a specific thought. And once you recognize that, that thought itself can fade. There's an analogy that's been used saying that one can use a branch to tend to a fire, and once the fire stops burning, you can throw in that one branch, one stick, that one twig, and realize that there's something else deeper than that. You can use the mind to recognize the mind. And once that one pointedness is reached, then you can actually toss that thought <laughs> into the fire and let it burn, and you're left with beingness and awareness and consciousness. 
And that's, that's what I refer to when I say emptiness. The emptiness of space, some call it void. Uh, it's the space that quantum physicists <laughs> refer to that's in between particles. And it's, it's with the ability to actually be conscious of it, to be aware of that. Sometimes it's experienced in deep sleep, with the awareness of deep sleep, from my own experience. And also from the experience in some deep meditations, or even in the present moment, because in the present moment we are always given that which we seek, or that which we desire. We are always given that in the present moment. So, within that same present moment, there is the emptiness, always accessible, always there always within this present moment. It's always there. And it's always given rise to form. And then the slowing down of thought to still si through silence and the slowing down of silence through stillness is where the emptiness exists. And it's rich. It's rich with love. It's rich with joy. It's rich with bliss. It's, it's rich with an energy of compassion. It's, it's very rich. And it's a state of surrender, a state of being, a state of recognizing essence, the essence of who we are is this unmanifested essence, emptiness, unmanifested emptiness of spirit. Christianity calls it the Holy Spirit. Hinduism calls it Atman. Buddhists will say it's enlightenment. It has various names, all pointing to the same thing, which is love, which is love. And I am inspired to say this this morning. The tour is coming to a close, the official one year. It's the middle of August at the moment. And I could go into details about what's going on. I choose to and feel the urge to transition to more messages of teaching and learning that will inspire people to discover the inner peace that's within their heart. Follow your heart, as always. I tell everyone who comes to me and says, it, comes to me for advice. I tell people to follow their heart. And I tell you, if you're watching this, to follow your heart. I will continue to cue the music. <laughs> because uh, I want to appreciate the gift and generosity of Steve and his creative input in this and as always write in comments below and I'm grateful to be able to share this with you to be able to share this wisdom and truth if you find it to be wise and truthful and with that I will press the square button on the camera to end this video